Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are fine and safe at home. We have already finished this chapter, Language of Maps. Let's have a quick recap before our test. In the previous chapter, we have learned about globe, a model of Earth. In this chapter, we are, learned, we are learning about map. Map is different from a globe and it is a flat representation of a small or large area of the Earth. The word map is originated from a Latin word called Mappa, which means napkin, cloth or sheet. And a book of map is called an atlas. A map can be of a continent, a country, state or a city. Then we learned about the advantages of map over globe. A globe is not very convenient, it is not very easy to carry. A map is very handy and we can make a particular region but not a not on a globe and tiny details can be seen in the map and it is not possible on a globe and it is very easy we can fold it we can roll it and it is very easy to carry and the earth's entire surface is seen on this map in the globe it is not possible and at the same time, there are some limitations also. The earth is spherical and we can't make a spherical map. Then we learned about types of maps. There are three main types of map. Political map, physical map and thematic map. A political map shows the divisions or uh, boundaries of country, states, provinces. Hmm? See, we can see it. A political map shows the political divisions of a country a physical map show what the surface of earth looks like it explains about the landforms whether it is water body whether it is a mountain area next is thematic maps a thematic map is particularly based on a theme for example on this map we can see major soil types it, it, it is explaining the particular theme, soil types in the country in India. So, a thematic map is what? It is based on a particular theme. The person who makes or draws this map is called a cartographer. Next, we will learn about reading a map. How to understand or read a map? We have to know about the language of a map. For that, there are four main features of a map. Which are the directions, scale, symbols and colors. We can, by uh, the, uh, with these main features, we can find places on a map. First is direction. There are four main directions. North, East, South and West. A map also shows these directions. And again, there are subdivisions, the northeast between north and east, northwest between north and west, southeast between south and east, and southwest between south and west. See the direction. North, south, west and east. It is very important to learn this picture. By area, Russia is the largest country and Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. The next main feature is scale. What is the use of a scale? It is used to find the distance between two places. Okay. And it is a ratio between the actual distance and the distance shown on the map. It is in the map everything is very near but in the reality they all the uh, cities and countries are very far. So a scale is used. It, it is on a big maps and all we can see at the bottom the scale it will show the measurement a distance between any two cities could be in kilometers and a scale is used to find a distance between two places the next feature is signs and symbols a map has signs and symbols to interpret particular objects like industries buildings etc different signs are given on maps so that we can identify what the what is the meaning see international boundary state boundary metallic road and each thing there are different different 
signs. By seeing this sign, we can make out what is the meaning of that. And the next is, these signs and symbols are called legends. So, what are legends? Legends are the symbols used in a map. Next is, colors on a map. A map shows different features using different colors. See, it explains the landforms. What kind of landforms are there? In each landforms have different colors. Let's see. Water bodies are shown in blue color and light blue for shallow waters and deep blue for, blue for deep waters. Plains are shown in green color. Mountain areas, brown color. Yellow is used for plateaus. The map represents the earth on a flat surface. The direction scale signs and symbols help us to understand maps. Different landforms are shown with the help of different colors on a map. Signs and symbols make the study of maps easier. Since these are the common to all countries, they are used internationally. All the legends and signs and symbols are same for both for the Indian map also and for the world map also. Now students tell me what kind of map is this? See, landforms are given. So this is what? A physical map. And what about this? All states are marked. So these are, this belong to political map, political divisions of a country. And what type of map is this? Is this in this it is shown the annual rainfall in India? So it's based on a theme. So this is what a thematic map. Hope you have understood this chapter. Go through the question answers and read the textbook properly. Thank you.